Welcome to The Jump. I am Rachel Nichols. We are kicking off the new year right. Our 2003 NBA champ, Steven Jackson, our own king of all media and suits, the oh. NBA insider, <laughs> Mino Hassan. And you are seeing Raptors video right now because, guys, I went across the street to see the Raptors play yeah. the Lakers last night. Did Kyle Lowry put on a show? 41 points. 20 of those came in the fourth quarter. This is such a fun team. Lowry continues to impress. DeMar DeRozan having a career season. And Toronto looks very solid in that number two spot in the Eastern Conference. The question you can't help but ask as you watch them, though, is what this franchise really wants and how might it get there? Because barring a major injury to Cleveland, it's still very hard to see the Raptors beating the Cavaliers to come out of the East, right? And, And hey, maybe that's okay. You are talking about a team that before last year's playoff run had won exactly one postseason series in 20 years. So if Toronto starts consistently making it to the Eastern Conference Finals, that's not exactly shabby for a franchise that for a long time was considered NBA purgatory. But sitting courtside as Lowry and DeRozan went fireball last night, it was hard not to want a little more for this group and get a little curious, especially as a news alert flashed on my phone. (laughs) Our own Brian Windhorst and Mark Stein reporting that Atlanta has begun listening to trade offers for Paul Millsap, who, you know, would just happen to fill the most glaring hole in the Raptors' starting lineup. Imagine the Raptors' pick and roll with Millsap. Mm. Imagine how Millsap would bolster Toronto's defense. Mm. Now, also imagine the price the Hawks might charge for Millsap. Mm. And let's not forget Millsap is turning 32. He's in his administration, usually unwilling to part with a lot of assets in trade. But personally, I would urge them to throw caution to the wind here, push very hard to get a deal done. Having a backcourt this special doesn't happen that often. Having an ideal player come on the market, one who fits your roster's biggest need, doesn't happen that often. I understand that, especially in a place like Toronto, being a good team is definitely good. But there's something to be said for making the leap at the chance to be great. <coughs> at least that's how I feel. What do you guys think? What about you, Stacks? Um, Toronto's a great team. The backcourt is special. Millsap is not the guy. Oh. I think, you know... With, with, with the comp- to complement those guys, you need somebody more dominant, somebody that's, that's one that can, that can be, that can request double teams. Millsap is not requesting no double team. He ain't taking nobody off the dribble. Mm. He's, he's a decent defender now. He's getting older. Mm. He's in, what is he doing in Atlanta to make Atlanta better? You want someone else to take the ball out of those two other guys' hands? Well, no, not really, but you're looking for somebody that you can drop it down to in the playoffs. Especially a big man, a post guy, somebody that can post up. That's what they need. Millsap is not that guy. See, I think I think he is that guy. I think he's. A is guy. he that guy in Atlanta? I mean, he's been for the last couple of years. Maybe not this Played year. Played well last night. But what have they won? They went to the conference finals like uh, like two years ago. We're talking about we're talking about competing with <laughs> Cleveland. Know, no, I'm just saying, but, like, but 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 yeah, we're talking about competing with Cleveland. But that's the key, right? I'm You're not, talking about competing with Cleveland. And look, no one's going one on one against LeBron, right, and it's right. going to be better. But you do look at that power forward spot and think they got to upgrade there if they want to. No question. Well, not, Cleveland. not only that, we're also you say, you say well, what has he done? Well, well, now he's joining his own kind of super team because he already got two All Stars there with him in mm-hmm. Toronto. If he went there, it's a different situation. To me, I say go for it because it reminds me a lot of him. Slow down. I'm not saying they're going to win a championship, mm-hmm. but reminds me when Detroit got Rasheed Wallace 12 years ago, right? Wow. Detroit was solid, was a solid team, all stars, <laughs> but they weren't winning anything. Rasheed oh, Wallace put them over the top. I'm not saying that he's Rasheed Wallace. Okay. I'm sure. not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying that you're talking about a. This guy. Right? He needs I'm, the, the, I'm, he I'm the saying when you have a Steven team of all stars, a team of all stars is good but not great, and then you add another all star to it, that takes him to another level. It's not that Paul Millsap will be like, yo, I, I got this. I'll take you to promise land. It's just that he's one extra piece that they needed. And I disagree. You throw Tim at the elbow, he can go around a Tristan Thompson. He can he can definitely go around a Kevin Love. He can step out and shoot the three. He can post up smaller guys. And then defensively, he can switch. He does a lot of things. I think, and definitely, he's better than what they have right now at power forward. No question, I agree with that. I mean, they have box of paper clips right now with yeah. all the injuries and everything they have now. They're throwing a bunch of guys together. I do, I do want to ask you though, philosophically, if you're the Raptors, you know you are going to be very good. Right. You know you will probably, or you know, if things go well for you, make it to the conference finals. Is the way this is stacking up this year in a conference where LeBron James exists. 
Should you trade future assets to try to compete with him, or do you just wait it out forever? Look, this is my thing. Wet spots and, and, and groin kicks is what <laughs> gave LeBron his championship last year. You never know when that might happen to See, Cleveland. See, you started that sentence, and I did not I, know how it was going to end. Toronto must feel good at number two if they think about going after Millsap, because that's not going to get them to number one. You never know. you got to wow. put yourself in a position. you right? got to put. Your, you can't just say, well, it's not going to happen. Right. Right? So you got you to do whatever you can. You don't know what's going to happen. I, on that note, let's get to someone who brought it into the new year. Right. James Harden had plenty of reasons to yeah. shimmy on Saturday night. Oh, he accounted for 95 Sorry, of the Rockets, 129 job, points Knicks. in their win over the Knicks. And I know you've seen the stat line already, but it's like church on Sunday. We're repeating it anyway. 53 points, 17 assists, 16 rebounds. And oh, by the way, Houston is one of three Western Conference teams with single, single digits in the loss column. So Stacks, talking about presumptive favorites versus guys make teams making a move. Here's another conference. Here's another look at it. Does the Rockets, are they making you rethink this landscape in the West? Well, the, the biggest thing about the Rockets is they're playing like a top five, top three team in the Western Conference. I think, you know, James Harden, what he's doing, nobody expected him to, to take that role on his point guard. And shout out to Dan Tony for, for, except for me, except for me, <laughs> except he's the only one that thought that. But the only thing is, Rachel, it looks good for the regular season. Oh. He's not going to be able to do that in the playoffs. The defense is going to change. They're going to take the ball in his hands. The other guys are going to have to win. Right. Regular season and playoffs is totally different. And I think now for the Rockets to be successful going forward, they need to start letting other guys learn how to make plays because come playoff time, they're going to take it out of James' hands. I promise. I, I agree 100% with that. They're, the defenses are going to trap him a lot yeah. and they're going to get the ball out of his hands. But he is such a good passer. He is a good passer, but if you, they're trapping you high and further away from the basket, it turns from one pass into a shot to one pass into someone else having to create and something. And denying him to get the ball back. And denying him to get the ball back. That's absolutely right. But at the same time, like I said, man, you got to put yourself in a position because you never know who's going to slip, right. who's going to kick somebody, right. who's going to get suspended. <laughs> you want to be there. You don't want to say, well, since I'm, I'm not good enough to beat that team at full strength, right. then I might as well not try. And right now, Houston's doing a great job. Do you think Harden's getting credit for as good a season as he's having, or do you think people are saying, oh, it's the system, it's D'Antoni? If you're a hater, if you're not giving him credit. That man doing all that work, he's balling out. He's my, you know, probably tied with Russ for uh, MVP right now. If, if you think it's easy, then, <laughs> you go, then you go do it. Right. Much. Yeah, like, okay. Rick D'Antoni's coached a few teams recently. We have not seen anyone play right. like this in his Shout season, out to so. Beard. By the way, I just want to point out, a lot of times people, when they want to criticize the Rockets, they talk about their defense. They have been phenomenal the defensively since been Patrick Beverly for, came uh, back. Yep. And, even, and the young, got a young guy, number five, I can't remember his name, from Louisville. And even, oh, uh, uh, Montrez, Montrez Harrell. Montrez Harrell, Harrell. Yeah. he's playing well. But I'm saying, even James Harden is not doing the I'm watching yeah, no, he's, walk by me anymore. He's playing I think defense. you got to give him credit for yep. that. It's an improvement. Before we leave the subject of the Rockets, I, I do just have to give it up for Mike D'Antoni's yeah. post <laughs> quote after playing the Knicks. Quote, if the triangle hit me upside the head, I wouldn't know what it was anyway. He's upside the head. <laughs> right, he's right, though. Right? I mean, come on. I and mean, he also said the Knicks are playing better, playing well. He sort of softened it. But, I mean, is this quote from Mike D'Antoni funny or just really funny? Really funny. I love it. I love every time people dig at Phil. It reminds me when our very own Jeff Van Gundy, way back in the day. Remember this one, Rachel? Big Chief Triangle. Mm -hmm. They called Phil the Chief Triangle. I love that, man. I'm just sipping my tea yeah. over here. <laughs> Everybody, but you know what? If you play basketball... Everybody runs a triangle. That's early offense. Yep. Yeah. Everyone There's runs part, it. Yeah. So I, I definitely understand what Dan Tony's saying. Everybody runs the offense. Phil just take credit for it. Huh? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> We're that We're back. back. 2017. Welcome to wearing a suit and Stacks yeah. is back. We have to take a quick break, but stick with us. Harold Owens is coming to hang out Yo. with us and discuss some New Year's resolutions for the NBA. Amin has some, well, he has some ideas yeah. for certain players, so stay tuned. <laughs> Time out. Cousins did not hear the way he ran off. Keep on playing. That's funny. <laughs> That was cool. Boogie and Zebo playing through the whistle, literally. I mean, look, that's almost football stuff right there, right? <laughs> that's fun stuff. <laughs> He's like, oh, slow down. Let's not, get, let's not get crazy. An official uh, welcome, by the way, our future Hall of Fame wide yo, out. Thank you, guys. Pick up basketball <laughs> legend. Did people know, pick, pick up like Wyatt and T.O. on the basketball show. They don't know that you play basketball, like, constantly. Exactly. I mean, I played three years of college basketball mm -hmm. at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Yeah. Google me, people. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he'll let you know. That's the thing. He's not. He, right? he doesn't just play. He also lets you know. We seen that him and Chad Johnson in the Chad oh, Cinco in the green room <laughs> so, arguing about who. Yeah. I'm an I'm an athlete. I don't know what much to say about Chad, but I'm an athlete. Oh, they're, 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 they're brothers. Wow. They're brothers. They're like brothers. Wow. <laughs> All right. In honor of the new year and the uh, new year, new me suit means yeah, rocker thank you. today. Thank I'm going to tee up. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm going to tee up three of our NBA players going through a bit of a rough patch heading into 2017, and ask Amin to suggest some New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. Now, as you know. Well, your timelines, right, are flooded with all these stupid, insp I'm sorry, no, these wonderful inspirational <laughs> memes, right? I mean, come on, you've seen way too many of these stupid. on your timeline oh, right now. Stupid. Well, we have our own. Let's stay in Sacramento. Oh. Boogie did drop 26 points, had eight assists on New Year's Eve, but he also earned his 10th tech of the season. And the Kings still lost the game. Afterward, Boogie expressed frustration with his teammates. Here was his quote. Like I've been saying, it's on us if we want to change this thing around. That's it. I'm tired of these blanking excuses. Mm. Blanking, maybe, maybe not what mm. he said. Maybe he didn't say blanking. Anyway, I mean, what's your boogie? He said fluffy. He said fluffy. Fluff, 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 fluffing excuses. He said something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not even. Okay. Um, but no. What's your boogie? 2017. That's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, what should Boogie's New Year's resolution yeah, be? We should just do away with it. <laughs> This is, this is the meme I, I came up with, Boogie. Uh, I said, Lord, protect me from my haters. And God replied, man, ain't nobody thinking about you. <laughs> Look. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Where did you see that inspirational meme? Lord, I got protect it from, me from, from my, my haters. My, my inspirational like, stream that I get from Stack. <laughs> Stack Instagram. What's that? Stack 5 Passe <laughs> Instagram. Um, this is, I mean, like, here's the thing. It's a bad situation, and it's not all Sacramento's fault, and it's not all DeMarcus Cousins' fault, but they're all bad together. Mm -hmm. This thing needs to end, and that's why I said, you know. But it's, it's, it's like my form of entertainment all in the season, so I don't know. take it away from me. What do you think? I think it needs to really control his temper. That would be my New Year's. From you? You're saying this. Absolutely. What are you What are you saying? <laughs> <there? laughs> We've perception, changed. Perception, We've perception changed. is not always reality, people. I'm telling you. Yeah. I wasn't that guy. But no, for me, I think it starts with DeMarcus. I think if he can control himself, and again, with his meme, I mean, with his comments, he said it starts with us. No, it starts with him. I think that team needs to have, uh, you know, he needs to put that team on his shoulders. They, he needs to be the team leader that they want him to be. And I, I understand what he says, and no more excuses. Look, every excuse they have used has been recycled. <laughs> like made, a lot of those inspirational exactly, memes. Yeah. Exactly. They've said and used every excuse they could probably use at this point. They have to go out there and win. That's what, that's what it is. There's nothing else to say. All right. Well, let's move on to Rajon Rondo. He didn't play a single minute during Saturday night's loss to the Bucks. And then this morning, Coach Fred Hoiberg said, that's not changing. Michael Carter-Williams will start at point guard tonight. Jerry and Grant will play the backup minutes versus the Hornets. Rondo reportedly interested in a trade if this continues. So, Ami, what should his New Year's resolution slash inspirational poster First be? First of all, I want to point out that I'm interested in winning Powerball if that's also yeah. available. But uh, <laughs> uh, Rondo should be <clears throat> always won't open new doors. Oh, knowledge dart. Nice. This I like the, how he's pointing away from the yeah, door in this nice. picture. <laughs> so, Rondo, this is his fourth team, his fourth coach in four years. And every single last one has ended poorly. The best one that he ended with Boston, and even then they were kind of pushing him out the door. At some stage, he's got to realize, look, it ain't everybody else's fault. It's I have to blame in some of the things that are happening in my life. I say his New Year's resolution is to be work on that jump shot. <laughs> I'm just telling you, if he, <laughs> works, on, if he <laughs> works on that jump shot, then he has more, uh, uh, more chances to be on that floor. I mean, sure. nobody can underestimate what he does as a point guard, his passing ability and what he can do. But I think if he has a consistent jump shot, he's into that ro rotation more often than not. But Rondo is successful when he has a athletic big man. He doesn't have that. Right. He met, he, him, and, him and Cousins play way the together. Boogie, right? Work. They play well together. Him and, him and Garnett play well together. Yep. I'm going to stack line. They play well together, him and Boogie, but they didn't win. Though. They didn't win. And that's, <laughs> the, and that's the same thing in Chicago. He's not He's not going to help them build winning team. He, I, I love Rondo. He's an old-fashioned point guard. One of those point guards that can get the team going and get everybody the ball. But as far as shooting and scoring, he's not that point guard. He's Chris Paul without the offense. Exactly, and that's what he needs to be to, yeah, to be on that. Yeah, more of like the Lord's prayer to, than a to resolution. be on that. He's still a starter. He's still a starter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To get on that court, that's what he needs to do. <laughs> no, 